Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got a surprise for you today. Y'all remember when Alaska Audit said he had a, a video of uh, him getting manhandled at a crime scene where allegedly he was just trying to help the cops by going into an active shooting situation and trying to retrieve a gun from the suspect. Well, he, I asked him about that uh, video. I said, how come you've never released that video where that all happened, uh, where you say you were assaulted? And his comment was rather weird. It says, well, I, I've got the video. I just have to edit it first. So he had to edit something out of this video. Well, he finally uploaded that video, and you're going to love it. You're going to love this video. It's just what I expected it was going to be. Uh, why don't we get right into it, and I'll stop talking. Alaska right here. Shots fired. 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 Mayday, mayday, mayday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Shut the fuck up. Did you notice that? He jumped right from him crouched behind the car to all of a sudden he's standing in front of a bunch of bouncers after he was assaulted. Somehow he didn't get any action of himself getting assaulted. I'm finding that very hard to believe. You stupid mother you're getting sued. To you. You stupid bitch. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You're getting sued now, you stupid piece of shit. Oh yeah, yeah, let me tell you. First man protected activity. Stop. Hey man, come on. Stop. Stop, stop, dude. Stop. Get off me! Brother, do not stupid motherfucker. Yes, folks, that's the violent assault video where he was brutally handled there and uh you can see absolutely nothing. You don't see any assault. You don't see anything. They're trying to protect that car there that's part of the crime scene. Uh, they're waiting for the police to come over there and uh, investigate. And he's trying to get in there. And apparently he tried to pick a weapon up. According to him, he tried to pick a weapon up off the ground in the crime scene. And he got handled. Anyway, you know, yeah, he edited the hell out of that so you couldn't see a damn thing which makes no sense, so he's obviously making the whole thing up. Anyway, let's find something else that makes more sense. Not that any of these clowns make any sense, but just for your entertainment, I'll see if I can't find one more. Well, I found something interesting for you. Remember that guy, Last Days of Freedom, Jeremiah Payne, the guy that owes over $100,000 in child support? Well, guess what he's doing now? He's still making videos and uploading them to TikTok, Nobody's playing because they're stupid. Anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of them. They're very, very strange. Here we go. Who you mean mugging you five foot two inch little twat? Who do you think you're scaring? Look at you. What a clown. In this video, he's trying to prove that he doesn't live in filth on the street by going to someone else's house and taking video of him living in a pretty nice, uh, you know, place, which is obviously not his. Anyway. According to some people, Jeremiah Payne lives in filth. And my daughter is not taking care of wow. some people, the nerves. Yeah, my daughter's room is a mess. The bathroom is clean. Now, if that is actually a little apartment that they live in, then we know damn well Jeremiah or his wife is not paying for it. The state of Tennessee is paying for it. Because he's a leech. He's a mooch. He always has been. He always will be. Anyway, let's see what else he does when he's not doing this stupid shit here. If you think about it, scrambled eggs, it's really just fried chicken. 
Yeah, that was Jeremy when he went through the profound period of his epic life. Yes, yeah, very profound. Uh, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I'm just goofing around. It's Saturday. I'll probably upload this today. Y'all have a great day. Love ya. Bye.